Hi all, welcome to my channel Tech LT World. Here we will learn, share, and grow together. So this channel will make you roam in the world of telecom, like 5G, LT, RAN, protocols, and many more. So today we will talk about the trending technology of the telecom, that is 5G. So we can see if you will come to the fundamentals, 5G is termed as a new radio that is 5g nr so our next question will come why 5g so in this world of data we all need high speed with the relat uh, with uh, reliability more connections and with the low latency so 5g fulfill all these requirements that's why we have 5g now 5g has been categorized based on the use cases Means there are different type of requirements for the different 5G users, and it is categorized like EMBB, that is enhanced mobile broadband. It basically deals with the increased data rate, high user density, and very high traffic capacity of the coverage, with a high mobility in an improved data rate. Now, if you'll come to about URLLC. This basically deals with the latency and reliability. Now, when we come to the MMTC, so this is low power consumption and low data rate for the huge count of device that is connected, or we can say improved link buzzer. We will discuss uh, this use cases in details in next uh, video. So now come to the 5D. 5G architecture. So our 5G architecture has been divided into two types. The types are NSA and SA. The name itself you can see non-standalone and standalone. So non-standalone is having 5G access network connect to 5G as well as 4G. 4. In this 5G access and its NR network built with our existing LTE EPC and infra core network and in SA that is standalone 5G access network connect to the 5G core network in this NR is connected to the itself 5G core network there is no you can say existing LT network but we are currently working on NSA that is non standalone with our existing LT network so we can see uh, the architecture the basic architecture of this non standalone and standalone so if you'll see in a diagram, this LT is connected to uh, the 5G node B and LT node B named as we know E node B. The 5G node B, the name is given as NG E node B, which is connected to the X2 interface and uh, then after it is connected to the MME. So this is the basic architecture uh, of non-standalone and in a standalone like uh, there will no LT uh, legacy kind of thing. Uh, 5G alone is a main node B, that is G node B, which is connected to the 5G core, which includes AMF, UPF. We will go in detail for the more details in our next video with the complete detailed architecture of 5G. So uh, we can see this non standalone has a dual connectivity via 4G access network and 5G access networks. That's why it is called as ENDC, EUTRAN and NR dual connectivity. And in ENDC, the 4G e node B is the main master node, and 5G ENGNB is a secondary node. So this is the main point that we we uh, must uh, take it in our account. Uh, now we can go to the basic comparison of 4G and 5G in a bullet terms. If you will take the point latency, latency in LT is 10 ms, while in 5G it is less than 1 ms. Peak data rate in LT is 1 GB per second, and in uh, 5G it is 20 times like 20 GB per second. And available spectrum in LT is 3 gigahertz, while in 5G we have a huge spectrum available that is 30 gigahertz. If you talk about the user density, it was like 1000k per square kilometer, while in 5G, we have approximately 2k per square kilometer. 
So this is the four G five G basic. You can say uh, uh, comparison, and there are a lot of comparison we can uh, do. So in going forward in videos, we will uh, see what are the missing points also. So now let's talk about 5G NR frequency band. So 5G NR bands are basically defined in a two range. That is FR1 and FR2. We can see uh, in a table FR1 ranges from uh, 410 megahertz to 7125 megahertz. That is 7.125 gigahertz. So this is FR1 range. And FR1 operates the band and it supports the band. FDD, TDD, SDL that is supplemental downlink, and SUL that is supplemental uplink. Uh, we will uh, discuss more these terms in coming videos. So this is the introductory video which I have prepared just to uh, get in touch with you all guys. And uh, let's uh, uh, we can see, we just see the next uh, range that is FR2. That is from 24.25 gigahertz to 52.6 gigahertz, and FR2 only supports TDD. So now you can see, or uh, there is uh, even some uh, one important uh, graph is there. Uh, so that if uh, with this graph we can uh, get uh, more clarity about our coverage, bandwidth, and latency of the fiber. We can see high band when we are moving from high band to low band. The coverage is going to increase, and our latency is also going to increase. Why? The bandwidth will go on decreasing as we move from high band to low band. So this this picture I will uh, relate in future also uh, in my uh, next video. Next video I will try to cover architecture in depth, and will take time to discuss that particular architecture. a uh, point by point node by node okay so for today thank you all be connected and learn share to your friends and be in touch thank you